Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen with me. Today we're going to be making a rabbit recipe because I get requests for rabbit recipes all the time. So today we're going to be making rabbit tinga tacos. You could do this with chicken if you wanted to. In fact, a rotisserie chicken works just fine. Um, but let me run through the ingredients real quick. We'll get to putting it together. Uh, so we're going to start off with three cups of cooked shredded rabbit or if you want to use chicken, three cups of shredded chicken cooked. Um, what I did is I just threw this in the crock pot with some chicken stock and uh, cooked it on low all day and then shredded up three cups of that. Uh, we've got a small onion, roughly, I don't know, about a cup of chopped onion, just roughly chopped. You don't have to dice it up real fine, just roughly chopped. Uh, a couple of chipotle peppers. These are chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. You can see that right there. I've got two of those. Add less if you don't want it as spicy, more if you want it spicier. Um, about a tablespoon of fresh oregano, all diced up right here. If you don't have fresh oregano, you can use about a teaspoon of dried oregano. Uh, what else? We got a couple of cloves of garlic here. Um, actually, I say a couple of cloves. I use about five or six cloves because I really like garlic, but you know, you might want to cut that back to two or three, it's just however you want that. About three quarters of a cup of fire roasted crushed tomatoes or I think these are diced tomatoes actually, but it doesn't matter, those will work. Uh, we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of this chicken stock here. Uh, we've got about a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. We're gonna use about a half a teaspoon of salt or however much you wanna taste. This is a pretty quick, easy recipe to put together. I've got the pan heating up here behind me. Let me get a little bit of olive oil in there to, uh, so we can do some sauteing. And then we'll bring you over here and we'll show you how this is done. And we got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there kind of heating up here. So we're going to start off by throwing these onions in here. Um, this is just on a medium heat, uh, medium high, I guess. We're going to let these onions saute down. Again, that's about one full, uh, one small onion, sorry. I'm just looking for a tool here, utensil. And that, whoops, one of them got away from me. We're gonna let these cook down for a couple of minutes, three or four minutes probably, uh, until they kind of soften up. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, it's been, oh, I don't know, five minutes or so, and these are starting to soften up pretty good. They don't have to be sauteed all the way through. You just want them kind of softened up. That's about it. So I'm gonna add my garlic here. And again, if you like lots of garlic, add lots of garlic. If you don't like as much garlic, add less garlic. Um, you know, anywhere from two to two to five or six cloves, I mean, however much you like. We're just gonna cook that around in 30 seconds or so until it gets kind of aromatic, until you can really smell the garlic. And that should do it. You gotta be careful with garlic. You don't wanna overcook it. We're gonna add in our chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. That's going to go right in. All of our oregano is going to go right in. And our cumin. This is about a half a half a teaspoon of cumin. Again, add a little bit more if you like a little bit more, a little bit less if you like a little bit less. We're going to let that cook down. Stir it around. Where'd my stir go? Oh, there it is. Stir that around. Let that toast and cook down for, I don't know, maybe a minute. You should be able to really smell that, get some good color on those onions and stuff. All right, now we're gonna add in our fire roasted tomatoes and our chicken stock. And it's about three quarters of a cup of fire roasted tomatoes and about a quarter cup of chicken stock and stir that around a little bit. Let that heat through, get to simmer and simmer it for about a minute, minute and a half, something like that, once it gets up to heat. You don't want it boiling, you just want it simmering. You know, let it simmer, like I said, about a minute, a minute and a half, something like that. All right, so that's been going for just a little over a minute here. We're gonna get this transferred over into a blender. Let's turn that off. 
there we go. See if I can do this without spilling everywhere. I know you guys probably can't see this, but I got my hands full, so let me get this done and then I'll be back with you. Okay, now you wanna be careful with this because it is hot in the blender, of course. Uh, so I wanna vent it. I've got the vent open, but I'm gonna put a rag over the top here so we don't have to worry about anything splashing up on us. We're gonna start pretty slow, pulsing. and you want to uh, basically pulse it up till it's nice and smooth. So I think we're not quite there. Let me get this done and then we'll be right back. All right, I need to get this pan turned back on over a, a medium low heat. We don't want it real hot. Um, I'm gonna add my sauce back to the pan. Where's my, there it is. Let me scrape some of that out of there. This probably needs a little bit of salt, maybe a, I don't know, half a teaspoon or so of salt. That'll be fine. And it's starting to heat up, so we're going to add our Go ahead and add a rabbit. That's about three cups of shredded rabbit. Um, I just cooked that in the uh, crock pot with some chicken stock and uh, let that go all day on low. Fold that in. All right, we're gonna serve this up on a warm tortilla. I'm using a flour tortilla. I think traditionally it's uh, corn tortillas, but I kinda like the flour better. I'm also using cheddar cheese and not a Mexican cheese because I don't have any on hand, but you could use a more Mexican cheese like a cotita, cotita. I can't remember the name of the Mexican cheese, but you could use a more Mexican cheese, maybe a couple of uh, slices of avocado, a little bit of cilantro on top here, and uh, a lime wedge, which I don't have, a little bit of lime over the top of this would be really, really good. And that's all there is to it. So this is a pretty good recipe, pretty simple, pretty easy. If you're in a hurry, you don't have time to, you know, cook a rabbit ahead of time, shred it up or whatever. Like I said, just pick up a, uh, you know, shred a uh, rotisserie chicken from your grocery store or big box store or wherever. Bring that home. You can make this up at, at your house. It, it doesn't take long. It's a pretty simple, quick, easy meal. Thought you guys might enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And as always... God bless.